there are two different ways, well, maybe there are more than two ways, but there are two pretty common ways to get this guy to respond to the, the right um, button press to make him move, or any button press, really. So I want to show you the difference between the two ways. We've got this whole setup where we say, uh, when clicked, well, let's try the other way first. So when the right key is pressed, then he should switch to the next costume and wait a little bit. So you'd think this would work. If I start the game, hit the right arrow. He do, it does work, but you can see it's a little clunky. I hit the right arrow and he takes a second to start. And I think that's because this is really for responding to a single key press. It's not really good at holding down a key. So this might be better, you can imagine, for like a fire button or a jump button, but for running, uh, it would be nice if he was a little more responsive. So there's a different way to do that. And let's just let's get rid of this and try the other way. And we've seen this before. When clicked, always be watching to see if someone is pressing the right arrow key. And if they are, we should do two things, same two things. Switch to the next costume and wait 0.1 seconds. This should work better. If I hit the right key, he starts running. And you can notice on the in the outline here, it's not flashing. It's always doing this. It's always checking to see if the right arrow key is pressed. I don't think I can go... No, I can't undo enough. But to get back to where we were, you would see that when you hold down the right key, this, uh, that whole chunk of when right arrow key was pressed is kind of flashing all the time. You can see it here if I do this. So here I go, I will press the right key and look, it's, it looks clunky. It's kind of flashing kind of crazy. So I think this is best for just single key presses and the other way is best for uh, holding down a button, like for running or something like that.